we in here, man. I'm gonna we- yeah, I'm gonna turn the volume up on the uh yes. on the interview when we're done. Anyway, we just went through some technical difficulties, man. Y'all don't know because y'all ain't gonna see it. But anyway, you can hear me straight. Yep, yep, yep. You hear me? Yeah. All right, bet. All yeah. right, so. Man, what you been up to, man? You, you let, let me tell you something, bro. When you be dropping, I don't be realizing the numbers, bro. You be having like double digits, double digits with K's at the end, and I never peeped that until I was doing my research for the interview. I'm like, damn, he doing like yeah. double I, digits. Um, that's because all right. So like, I be busy. You know what I'm saying? I be busy. I work a lot. I work a lot, and I'm always with my kids and shit. So I be busy as hell. So what I do is I always put like a lot of per- money behind my promotion. That's my main thing and shit. Like anybody I work with, I pay in full. You know what I'm saying? I don't be trying to get deals, none of that shit. If they doing a deal, I'm I fucks with it cool. But whatever, I, I pay it. You know what I'm saying? I pay it, and then I I get a promotion team. I got a I got a whole um media management team. I'm j- I'm just locking in with or whatnot. Uh, this sometime this week we finna start a couple of uh, campaigns mm-hmm. and shit. But that's my main thing. I try to make sure that my 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 video is sound. You know what I'm saying? I try to make sure that it got some a uh, concept to it and shit. And then I got got a pro. Man, the, the numbers is looking amazing. Like I said, I didn't know you was doing that much. I knew you was doing thousands, but I didn't know you was doing like 10, 20. I think one of them got thirty yeah. plus. Yeah, yeah, my um, my uh, the last one I dropped on my channel because my last two videos I didn't drop on my channel. Yeah, I uh, my, my boy Rico channel and shit, just because the phones technically wasn't mine and shit. One was a cover, and the other one is technically my boy Dreams and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I wasn't thinking about it as far as that. I just wanted my nigga to get some exposure and shit because he hard as hell. Shout out to Dream, by the way. Yeah, but um. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So um, I put a lot of uh promotion behind the weekend and whatnot. As far as like the whole entire thing, I think you did a um, I think you did a reaction to to the video actually from right. And shit, I know I know I know uh, uh, big big review Pat. He did one. Yeah, shout and, out to big head Pat, man. Yeah, shout out to Pat, bro. I was I seen him in the, uh, we we ran into each other at the gas station. We ain't even realized who we was at first. We just kept looking at each other like, like, bro, you look familiar. I'm like, yeah. He like, what's your name? I'm Kane. He like, bro, it's Pat, bro. It's Big Pat. I'm like, oh shit, my nigga, what's problem with you? Yeah, man. I went to school with him. I've been doing past since I was probably like eleven. Ah, yeah. nice, nice, nice. That's what's poppin'. But uh, speaking of names, how you get the name Kane? Is that your real name? Or like- uh, my it's a nickname and shit. This kid, this cat I used to be cool with when I was a youngin and whatnot. We had a rap group together and whatnot, and he uh, basically we used to we used to fuck with you know the brothers of destruction and Undertaker and Kane and shit. Yeah. He, and he was like he was like my big brother and whatnot. So that's just where it came from, really. You know what I'm saying? He was Undertaker and I was Kane. I just ran with it to be honest with you. Shit, that's 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 uh that's interesting. Most people change their names throughout years and rebrand and stuff like that. So it's kind of tight that you stuck with a name from the beginning. Uh, Most yeah. people don't. Like, a lot of people transition, even if it's with an AKA, like 2 chains. <laughs> he was right. a boy, right. AKA 2 chains, and then he eventually transitioned. So it's kind of uh, tight that you stuck with the same man. Yeah, that's kind of rare. Right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How long have you been rapping for? Um... I mean, you know, I, mean, I was rapping all through school and shit, but I ain't started taking shit seriously until a few years ago and whatnot. That's when you saw me with uh, my first link up with Kilo and shit. Shout out to Kilo. First link up with Kilo, we started going out to the D a lot. I got a um, I got a feature from that from uh, Cash Pay LA. Shout out to them, him and Snapdog and whatnot. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I just started going from there. Just started going from there, doing shows. Video shoots, the whole shebang, and all that jazz. Yeah. One thing I can say about you, man, is you sound different than than most Michigan people. Like you just so you so versatile. 
You go do a song for the women, then you'll do some shit that sound like Michigan, then you'll do some shit that sound like Cali. Like, and, where, where that come from? Well, really, me personally, I like the Michigan sound. I ain't gonna act like I don't. Me too. It's just not my sound. You feel me? I can do it. I definitely can do it. It's just not like what I naturally want to pull off my tongue and shit. Yeah. I could probably say I, I I definitely vibe with the Cali the Cali sound a little bit more personally, just because of like you know the way I was raised and the shit that I used to listen to and whatnot. Like Snoop Dogg, that's my favorite rapper of all time. You did like you know a lot of motherfuckers from our generation want to go like big and pop. Oh, like you know, much respect to them and all that jazz, but it's always been Snoop for me, and so you know that's that's been my my aspect, my approach to it. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a smooth talking nigga. You feel me? Like that's what I be on. You feel me? Like I, that's that's just my thing. That's just my vibe. I try to I try to give off, and then like you know, I be want to work on my voice in multiple ways. You know what I'm saying? I do have like a little singing aspect that I work on, what I'm working with, and things of that nature. And so I want to touch other areas, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain people don't like, you know, shit, fucking T-Pain was a rapper when he first popped out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. everybody blowing up from from singing and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, whatever my lane is, you know what I'm saying? I just like to play it at my speed, you feel me? So, safe to say, if he hit you up and say he need Snoop want to sign you to Death Row, the new Death Row, you sign. Oh, hell yeah. I'm only signing because it's Snoop. I ain't gonna cut with you, like, I'm only signing because of Snoop. And then, you know, Snoop came from, Snoop was taught the game for real, for real by, by Pete. You feel me, Master Pete? And when it comes to, like, Master Pete, I feel like he would be one of the greatest ones to learn from because Master Pete got it all, lost it all, and then got it back. You know what I'm saying? So he can help point you out from every point of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what it's like to be at the mountaintop, and I know how to dig my way back up to this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So... I would, on a business side, I would definitely, you know what I'm saying, come lawyered up because I ain't no simp <laughs> and shit to check it out. But it would be a good look only because, like I said, you know what I'm saying, Snoop, that's, that's the one for me when it come down to, you know what I'm saying, my, like, my idols and shit to the music, the music thing. Like, I seen him perform live in person one time. Happiest day of my life. It was crazy. It was, it was, it was just such a euphoric feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, Snoop got me through a lot of dark times and shit as a little nigga when I lost my uh, my oldest brother and shit. So that, that's just how I feel about it and whatnot. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna sign a death row. Definitely. <laughs> so what producer you think from here or just in general that you don't work with gave you that feel the most, that West Coast feel that you like the most? Right now, you know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, you know what I'm saying? Bam, he the one that put me there originally, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the wizard. You know what I'm saying? I, I call that's the wizard. He the beat of he the, he the wizard of Oz. I mean, the band and shit. Um, right now it's been your it's been your cousin Juice though. You know what I'm saying? Juice, he, his certain vibe. You know what I'm saying? It be Bam Juice and um and my boy my, my boy Guap Sailor Sailor uh, quite a body on the beat. Man, out of them three, bro, I can catch a vibe on accident. Like for real, for real, I catch a vibe on accident. Yeah, I be telling uh, my cousin Juice all the time, man. You can take this shit to the top if you wanted to. But he, For real? He hey, I, I remember when I first had started out, it wasn't. I could not get Juice to sell me a beat, bro. I could not get him to sell me a beat. I hear that story all the time. Like, I don't know if he thought I was like bullshitting, like how a lot of motherfuckers be and shit. I'm like, bro, like. I I got money, like I'm gonna pay whatever you ask him, bro. Like I like I just want the fucking shit, cause Kilo, that's a, where a lot of Kilo got his got his piece from. Yeah. I was man, from Bam and Kilo was just coming out of the woodwork with these crazy ass sounds from Juice and shit. And I'm like, damn, what should I'm gonna shop with, bro? Too. I even told Bam, I'm like, bro, holla at your man, let him know, like, you know, I'm, if he missed out on money and shit, he yeah. took a chance and shit, and we um we've been rocking ever since. That's my bro. Yeah. I feel like I got high hopes for him as long as he make the right decisions. Facts. Agree, agree, agree. I cross my fingers from every time he make a post that he sends shit to cash down. I'll be like, man, I'm hoping for you, bro, for real, for real. Me too. So you uh you spoke on Dream. How you met him? Dream, um, ironically, it was like the universe was trying to make me and Dream uh come together because um, so the first first time I met him. We had a show out in Lansing and shit. We both was on the, on the card or whatnot. 
and um he performed before I did. So when he came down and stuff, I'm like, "What's good, bro? You um you from Flint?" He like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Me too." He was like, "Oh, for real?" I'm like, "Yeah." He was like, All right, "Well, I actually was gonna dip out, but since you from Flint, I'm a, um I'm, I'm gonna stick around for your set." I performed my set. It was lit. It was one of my my best performances in my opinion because. Like the whole crowd got interactive with my song and whatnot. I did a bunch of pictures. I sold merch that day. It was a great all around the board type of situation. But um, at the end, he told me like, uh, "Your song brag now, bro. I mean, that's the one. You need to push that. You need to push that. Blah blah blah." And I'm like, "Appreciate it, appreciate it." Now, mind you, we um, we like talked for a hot little second. You know, quarter the night. Boom. I think we like exchanged like Facebook information. I believe, but. So one of his peoples at my job at the time I was working at was telling me about this dude, like, bro, but he was calling him on, he was calling him G. Yeah. But I didn't know it's the same person, but he like, yeah, my, you and my boy G, like, I don't listen to your music, like, I think y'all sound real good together. And I'm like, dang, all right, well, you know, I'm always down to collab, let's do it, you know what I'm saying, boom, boom, boom. He like, give me your number, I'm gonna shoot him your number, blah, blah, blah. So me and Dream end up texting. Over there, but we never get around to uh, doing no studio time, nothing like that. So, fast forward, probably like six, seven months later, it's summertime, and uh, I don't know if you remember this, but um, we was at a um, at a video shoot. It was a Jeff Sky video. Him, Lito, and this one dude, this one big dude. He can sing his ass off. I can't think of his name right now, but uh, they had a dope ass song together and shit. And at the video shoot, the video shoot being I'm getting shut up. Oh, uh, what not? Cause of some up, some shit that had nothing to do with us, which was crazy. It was some shit at a basketball game. I have no idea what went down, but the niggas at the basketball game started shooting. But I saw a dream there. It was funny as hell because we uh <laughs> we um I'm like I, I I'm like what's good with you? I'm Kane or whatever. You're like bro, we met we met on Lansing. And I'm like oh damn, okay cool. I gotta I gotta link up with you. Blah blah blah. So. Like I said, mind you, I still didn't know that the dude I worked with was telling me to work with this man. We just keep running. Like, we got to work. We got to work. Finally, I ended up booking some studio time with him. And uh, I heard somebody refer to him. No, I, I, uh, somebody referred to, refer to him as, like, G or something along the line. Of that, and it all clicked. And I asked him about the dude I worked with. And he like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. Well, shit, dude. He like, that's crazy because... I've been getting, he was telling me the same shit about you. Like, you and my bro need to work. And y'all didn't work, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, cool. We first got together on that, um, my All all Eyes on Me record and shit. That was like butter, bro. That was like butter. I enjoyed that whole, from start to finish, from recording it to shooting the video, the whole layout. Was dope. That was a nice ass vibe and shit. We've been locked in there since they choked. That's my dog. I wish nothing but prosperity in his life. That's the same video where y'all was at the bar, right? Yup, 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 yup. That's the one. The funny, the ending was so funny, bro. (laughs) I wasn't expecting that. I didn't even know you knew Cam. That shit was Yeah, shout out to Cam, shout out to Joker, shout out to Jeff. I appreciate all y'all coming through that day. That was dope as hell. We was trying to figure out a funny ass way to end it. And I'm like, uh, we got, you know, we got to have a, uh, if you ever watched Boondocks, you know how they was talking about a nigga moment and shit, right? I'm like, we gotta have a nigga moment, you know what I'm saying? We gonna have somebody step on your on your pumas. He don't like. He was like, whoa, whoa what? Right. <laughs> yeah, I need you to do it. I need you to do it. And it was funny because at the time, Jeff, him and Jeff had this thing going on, on Facebook where he was making it seem like Cam was really violent and shit. So it just fed the narrative along and shit. So I'm like, yeah, I need you to be the one to flip out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Jeff just pick you up and carry you away and shit. He was like, how the fuck you just gonna? Volunteer me for all of this shit, but he was, he was definitely down. It was dope. I love working with those gentlemen, man. They hard as hell. Man, that part of the video I was not expecting, man. That shit had me <laughs> cracking up though, because it just came out of nowhere. Right, you, right. You got some shit coming with Jeff or or Cam? Cam uh, yeah, actually, um, me and Cam got a song out already. It's on his last tape. Is his last tape? Because I know him and Ace just dropped the. Uh, uh, a duo tape or whatnot, but on his last single tape, I believe, or whatnot, we got a song together. We got another song on produced by Bam that we supposed to be getting some studio time for. I just ain't had the availability to be honest with you. But um, video, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, me and Jeff got a song together. I just we, we ain't dropped yet. Mm, yo. 
Oh, no, no, no. No, so I got, I, I definitely got some shit in the, in, in the works for sure, for sure. So who your favorite cameraman to work with? Um, I think the I'll last video I did by you was shot by DP Visions. I think. That might be the last video I did by you. That that was the one at the bar. That was the one at the bar. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's a good question. Well, like relationship wise, I'm gonna have to say. Bam with flicking flims only because you know that's bro. Yeah. Oh, like, um, I but I haven't had like a bad experience really. Like I enjoy working with Rico, uh, he's here. I shot raw. Um, I need to link up with Emilio Stone. I've always wanted to work with dog. Yeah. I, I I like his work ethic. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Outside, like I said, the relationship with me and Bam, I don't know. Uh, I can't really put a finger on it though. But they are definitely great business, man. Shout out to um Mino Shot that he uh stationed out in Detroit. He bought his business. He's great work. He done worked with a few different uh different names throughout the city, throughout the throughout Flint, Detroit. He done did some shopping out in, in California or whatnot. He 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 dope. He dope. He dope. Yeah, shout out to him, man. So you uh you got a song called Bay for the Weekend. Yeah. Who picked the girl? Because the girl was decent in the video. Uh, uh, ironically, um, she just was on my uh she just was on my timeline. I was just scrolling and my friend had posted her, like just they they friends, and she was um supporting a shoot that she did, a little modeling shoot. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, you know. She, I think she might be doable. So I uh, DM'd her like, "Hey, do you think your friend be willing to do a, a, a pay a gig for me?" She was like, "Yeah, this that, and the other." We put it together, like butter. She was decent. I was, I was like, "Okay, he got good taste." That that I would have picked her too. I ain't gonna lie. We wouldn't. Why? We wouldn't. So, hey, you said what? Shout out to Stephanie. That's her name, Stephanie Graham. Shout out to her, man. Uh, so that's your that's your thing, just like weekend chicks, or you you ever thought about something serious? Cause I know how you come, man. I've I've, I've been I've been seeing you for a minute, so I know how you really be coming. Nah, that's just the song. To be honest with you, I mean it's it's all about entertainment. To be honest with you, that's just only because you know I don't don't get me wrong. I lived that life heavily at one point in time. You know, like. I get bored, you know, and I just want to I make you feel special for the weekend because I can simply, you know what I'm saying? You know, by by Monday, you know, we got to get back to business. You know what this was from the beginning type shit, you know what I'm saying? I definitely live that life, but um, that's not my speed currently, but it's just, you know, it's all entertainment. It's something that I can, you know, pull from when I need to when it comes to the music. Now, in the video for Bay for the Weekend, you took her shopping. Do you, okay. Do you look at that as tricking? Or you don't really look at that as tricking. Because a lot of niggas would be like, bro, we're tricking, man. Just for the weekend, he's spending money, and it's only three days? Because I was kind of looking at you crazy. Because I'm like, I'm not spending money unless I'm in love. Or at least I love and care about her. I'm not spending money okay. on something I'm never going to talk to after Sunday. Okay, see, and that's the thing. It was never like a situation where she was somebody I never was going to talk to. In that type of situation... That just was our situation. This was a recurring type of thing. It's not somebody at a street, and you know what I'm saying. I'm like, hey, I'm finna make your life change real quick. Why ain't you come here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was never. She was definitely the the story was 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 it was told to be like you know this is what we normally do. That's why I was saying like in one of the other verses, the, the, I think in the second verse. I'm like, you know, every day to, the every day to end and why I be chasing some money. So when she hit me up on the weekday, it'd be kind of funny. You with your man, I taught you better. You should learn. You already know it ain't even your turn. You know what I'm saying? Like on the weekday, I'm with somebody else entirely. Like, you know, I see you on the weekends. Like, you know, so this is somebody I've already been with, built a rapport with, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature and shit. You know what I'm saying? I know what to expect of her. She knows what to expect of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not buying for her attention that's just a plus you know what i'm saying to be honest with you, the way i look at it is shit i'm giving you the attention you know what i'm saying like, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, i understand it makes sense now <laughs> so like the way you just rap that shit so effortlessly you yeah. like you able to remember all your lyrics or do you like mess up especially with performing 
I ain't gonna cap with you. I ain't gonna cap with you at all. Not at all. Um, I figured because you smoke too, like like a motherfucking chimney, like like a chimney. Um, um, so when it comes down to, uh, ironically, it's funny that you asked that because I, I kept messing that line up specifically in the video shoot. Like I kept messing that line up. It's just something, but my the video, bam, he the one shot the video was talking shit to me about it, and that's just the reason why I was able to repeat it like that is because I couldn't I couldn't catch it that day. And the only reason I couldn't catch it that day was because I recorded the song way before I finally actually dropped it. You know what I'm saying? I held that motherfucker for a minute only because the time that I recorded it, I couldn't get I couldn't get the visual did the way I wanted to do it, to be honest. With you. I still, even though I like weekend and how it came out, I still ain't get the whole thing. We were supposed to go, I was supposed to rent a boat out and everything like that, but the weather was up and down and shit like that. And I wasn't trying to be out on the water and have some somebody deaf and shake. That's what's gonna be the option. We was gonna be out in that bitch freezing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, but that was definitely gonna be a hot scene that I wish I could look you could have got or whatever, but you know, few that we got future uh video shoots coming up. Yeah, y'all definitely do, of course. So, uh, <laughs> I think in Bay for the Weekend, you bung up Do Not Disturb. I know Do Not Disturb be getting you in trouble. <laughs> you, motherfucker hit you up, your phone on Do Not Disturb. Next thing you know, you getting voicemails, getting cussed out, all kinds of shit. <laughs> I never put my phone on Do Not Disturb, man. Woo! Man, you funny. Um, so, like I was saying, um, that's not my current life. Just yeah. something that, you know, I once lived and I could pull from yeah. and all that jazz, you know what I'm saying? I don't really do, I don't be on Do Not Disturb no way because my kids be calling me, so. <laughs> yeah. I can't. So you, uh, you polygamy and monogamy. Like, which, which one you rock? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm polygamous, you know what I'm saying? I've been in my relationship currently for seven and a half years now. Difficult. I mean, what relationship ain't difficult? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to put it as if it's some. It's not for the weak minded nor the weak hearted. I can tell you that. Yeah. You you gotta definitely be in control of your emotions to like attempt something like this. Definitely. Um, it's not for everybody. No, I don't think. It, Pushed on any on anybody that's genuinely not interested. But if you are interested, you know what I'm saying. It's nothing to want to, you know, further your education. And that's it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's has its ups and downs, just like any relationship. And once you are, to be honest with you, once you go through it enough, you don't really look at it too differently in a normal relationship because of the, the trials and tribulations you go through. Like it's all about strengthening and bonding and trust and blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera. That regular shit. Yeah, I know it's some, some I never been in a relationship with two people, but I know it's yeah. some pluses. A lot of pluses. Uh, it's some pluses. It's some pluses. The, it's some negatives. The it's good outweigh the bad or the bad outweigh the good. Uh in my situation. And just in general. In my situation, it ain't it, it definitely ain't all bad. It definitely ain't all bad. Like I could have a lot worse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if I just sum it up, I am grateful and I am thankful. You know, what I'm I, I am appreciative of my in the situation that we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't too boastful about it, but should I live a comfortable ass life? I ain't even gonna hold you up. Like, like I work hard for everything that I can do, and like my kids have testified to it. Like, we be we be lit, we be lit. <laughs> like, we have fun, we have fun, fun, man. So you got a son? Yeah, I got two sons. They ever asked you, like, you know, this, this don't look like how my friend's situation, my friend's people's no, Honestly, oh, that's the crazy part, right? Like, all of my kids are just, like, impressively smart. They never really, like, looked at it in an odd form. It just kind of was real, like, okay, boom, type shit. You know what I'm saying? It was one day I was talking to my son. Just get <laughs> Um, as far as like, son, you need to do A, B, and C for certain things. I'm like, listen, you. I'm like, you see how your dad lived, right? Wink, wink, and he like, yeah, I get you. I'm like, 
take my advice. I know a little bit about a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be like, all right, all right, I hear you, Pop. I hear you. I hear you and shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, man, yeah. it'd be funny. It'd be real funny. All right, so back to some music talk. You okay. clearly a lyricist, and you sample one of my favorite lyricists, Nas, on that ah. real world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, how'd that come about? Uh, so I've always wanted to do that beat, bro. I've always wanted to do that beat. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, I'm actually finna, like, put some old promo behind that. And I was talking to all my boys about it and shit. And he just, like, my cadence and how I was just punch at the punch at the punch at the punch. He was like, bro, I think you, like, you didn't really push that as much as you did, like, too fast. And I'm like, I just like too fast a lot. That's my shit. But yeah, I definitely feel you. I'm going to definitely go behind and, you know, revamp that out simply because of, like, it was. It took so long for me to actually step up to the plate and do the beat, and then when I finally did the beat, I spazzed on the bitch, in my opinion. And uh, you know, and, and Juice Free did the beat, of course. I'm saying shout out to bro. Um, it was just, I don't know, man. It was just hard. It was. It just it, the way it all came together. It just was effortless, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I like saying certain shit that make a motherfucker have to double back and check it again. And you know what I'm saying? If you caught it the first time, you know, saying good for you, and I appreciate that too. You dig and. I don't know. It just worked out that way, real smooth. Cool. It ain't fire for me, smart. This for me smoking is it? Oh no, you good. So, uh, who was that saying on it? Sean Lurie. Shout out to Sean Lurie, my dog. Good people's, good people's, good people's. Yeah, I, uh, you know, if she got anything else out? I don't know. She went on the hiatus. She had just had a baby not too long ago and whatnot. And um, she kind of was, you know, doing her self-healing, getting herself back to herself type of thing and all that jazz. But I definitely was telling her that she, you know, definitely keep using her voice, keep doing her thing because there's something there. Yeah. I, uh, I like your combination. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So uh, my favorite song by you is Too Fast. And you sample Brent. That's my shit, personally. Agree, agree, agree. Yeah, that's that's my shit. You uh, you ever worry about like these samples and getting sued by like niggas like Nas, Lauren Hill, and Brent? Nope. I feel like if it get big enough to where one of them, you know, do it, we can cross the bridge when I get there. That's how I feel. That's how I look at it. That's how I feel. It, that's how I feel too. Like if it get for one, if it get big enough for one of them to hear it and get offended, I'm gonna look at it as a milestone because I got you to hear my shit. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, I music, I would love for music to be the main thing that supports my expensive ass lifestyle that I live, but it's not right now. So you know what I'm saying? They want whatever percentage they fucking want from the song. They can get the fucking song. I don't care shit. You know, Diddy. Pays Steam two thousand dollars a day for yeah. not, for not getting that I'm missing you song clear. Yeah, that's. I know that ain't shit to him, but that hurt. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That had to blow up though. Yeah. That had to blow up and make all of that money and do all of that. I, I man, if Too Fast end up being my blow up song and shit, you know, and if I'm able to capitalize on it the way I wanted to capitalize on it, I am not gonna be tripping about that, bro. I'm not gonna be tripping about it because honestly. I, I even try to put it because when I dropped it, I put that I'm only claiming like my lyrics as far as anything else. I have no ownership of, you know what I'm saying? I put that in there when I did it and shit. Like I said, like I'm not trying to take no money from none of that, none of that, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, this, it's not for me to, to obtain any damn way. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, shit, you know, and it's fucked up, but that's you. It's crazy that you mentioned that because I low key know a website that I can go through and just, and, could have got the shit, you know what I'm saying, situated. But at the time, I was just eager to drop that bitch because I really wanted that motherfucking shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, push come to shove, I still, boom, 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 you know, I can look, you get it all taken care of. But, you know, right now, I ain't really pressed about it because shit, they probably ain't gonna, they probably ain't gonna hear that shit not no time soon. Now, when I turn up some press on that motherfucking, you know, it, I, I find a huge fan base for it, and that bitch hit a hundred thousand views. I might start looking into getting that shit cleared out the right way. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> real, real. But until then, I'm across that bridge when I get there. 
was uh, eyes on me. Had a sample in it too. Yup, that was a a Donnell Jones drink. Okay, so samples is your thing, or you just as long as the beat good, you don't care. Yeah, that's really what it is. If I, if I catch a vibe for the beat, whoever made it, I'd be like, "What you going for it?" That's how it worked with me. To be honest with you, like the eyes on me. Uh, that producer is from. Now I don't know if he's from Vegas. I just know that's where he be at. Yeah. I need to pull he out of out, out of Vegas or not. Dude, dope as shit. I did talk to him beforehand. Asked him, did he get everything clear when he said use the shit? He said yeah. So I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, we can do it. I don't care what you asking for. I paid him what he wanted for the beat. You know, we've just been moving ever since then. Now, me personally, one song that I need a video for, before I die, you have to do a video for On God, bro. Like, you have to. Man, so funny There's story. There's no if and or buts about it. Now, the crazy part is I shot a video for On God. I is that swear. the one that you told me got corrupted? Yeah, yeah, man. Bro. It got fucked up. This shit, my boy was going through some shit. It was not, and he was trying to um pull some shit off of one of his computers onto the other one, whatever. And when he got everything booted up, the file was all trash and whatnot. And I'm like, he like, ah, I'm like, ah. It literally was just a fucked up situation. Yeah. Then, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it a shot at a movie theater? Not exactly. Yes, but no. Uh, so, um, I had rented a cabin out in Tennessee, out in Gatlinburg. And one of the, they had a movie theater room. And it was, uh, it was shot in there. It was shot in, it was shot in, in there, and then it was a, a piece of it was shot out in, um, out in Grand Blanc. Uh, a little bit, like a little bit in Beecher. A lot of people not really traveling like that. Especially independent, like on your level of shooting in different areas, man. How is that? Because I didn't even know you shot it in Tennessee. I thought everything was here. See, okay, so uh, the on God shoot was supposed to have been the main shoot that I did in Tennessee, but I half the people, more than half, like two thirds of the uh, other people that were supposed to come, they last minute flaked out on me and shit. Like the whole, uh, I had a whole scene set up for on God. And when they didn't come, I had to, you know, throw something in the air, and I ended up shoot, doing "Don't Shoot the Messenger" and shit was, which was like a last minute thing that wasn't even the song I was supposed to be doing. I look, he wasn't even gonna drop that song, but it was the only other song that I had that was mixed that I video to. So I was just like, "Fuck it, I don't want to waste this opportunity." So I got as much as I could for on God. You know, stop. We just take it off now. Stop. My bad. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I just didn't want to um, waste the opportunity. So I did shoot a little bit of what I could on, on, on God or whatnot. I got like two good ass scenes, and one was in the movie theater that I was telling you about. And, um, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just went on from there. And I had, I just took a couple of L's when it came to my video shoots and shit. What's some other ones you did? Like my shoot, brag now. I look, I, I'm, I'm redoing this. I don't care what I got to do to redo this, but I'm redoing this and the shit. But I um I booked the Airbnb out in Ohio, shot a dope ass video, dope ass video, bro. It was fire. I loved every bit of it from beginning to end. I had all my kids in it. I had them throwing money around. We was in a pool, big ass pool. We got in this three story fucking house, running up and down the fucking spiral steps and shit. It was all it was amazing and shit. But that video ended up getting fucking deleted. Like the day it was supposed to be getting, it was starting to get edited and shit. It got mixed up and got deleted with um another video or whatnot, whatnot. So. I just ain't reshot it. Like I, like, bro is um reshooting the video for me for free. I just ain't planned it all out. I st still gotta get all my kids out, get the fucking same place or whatnot, the whole shebang and shit. But I'm definitely doing. I'm definitely doing. I'm low key aiming for like uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe this November. Is that the reason why you picking November? Just because, like, I should be available for for <laughs> like I got my uh 
I got shit, my son's birthday coming up. And then once I get my son's birthday coming up, I got other shoots. I'm, I'm like, I'm doing shoots right now. And I'm, so I'm going to be dropping periodically and whatnot. And I should be available just to get everybody there. That'd be a good time frame. I know, depending on if I do it right, I might just have my things. I might just do it for Thanksgiving. I might just have my Thanksgiving out there and invite some of the family and stuff there. And do the work. Yeah, I feel like uh, that would be a dope video because it show a different side of you, putting like your kids and shit like that in the video. I know, right? That was the whole point. That was the whole fucking point. Yeah, that will show a completely different side of you because you never put your kids in the video ever that I've seen. Nope, they haven't like made. Well, th- there was one, but it's like a real quick thing. That was one of my older videos. You never even really noticed it. For... But yeah, though, that's you know, because that's literally what I be on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be with my babies. Shit, I'm with my kids right now. Yeah, I already know. Uh, how did that affect your career? Like, going- I mean. It on, ain't if you was to go on tour or something like that, like it ain't easy. I mean, shit. If my kids ain't in school, if they if, if it's possible, I would definitely just take them with me. Yeah. It's not or I'm just gonna be like ah. If it's possible, I'm gonna take them with me. I'm gonna take them with me. Yeah. But you know, if they in school or whatever, if it's time for freaking like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure that they, you know, they comprehend that good looks and whatever. Appreciate you. They comprehend that shit. You know, like they already grasp it, you know, like shit, I didn't have to leave them for a couple of days when I go out of town or whatnot to shoot a video or just to network and shit, you know what I'm saying, I went to um, I was gone for like five days, I went to Arizona to LA, then back to Arizona and shit and then, then came back or whatnot, you know, and that's just I told them ahead of time, I look, I'm going out here to do some music stuff, blah, blah, blah I'm gonna call me every day, talk to me every day the whole shebang, you know well, like I said, if I can bring them with me, oh yeah, they come, they come in there. You know that though. Yeah, I respect <laughs> that. For real, for real. So lately, I've been seeing you like, if I'm not mistaken, you be in the gym lately, man. So how that's going? Oh yeah, oh yeah, man, it's going great, bro. It's going real great. I just uh ordered, I just ordered some uh, some brand new uh protein powder. It's plant based and shit. Yeah. Was do uh, you ever um, what is his name? C T Slater. I think his name is motherfucker. Funny as hell, he be cussing motherfuckers the fuck out while he working out and shit. But yeah, it's plant based and shit. You know, I got pre workout, um, fucking muscle recovery. I got a superfood, my protein powder and shit. I got a whole little situation set up and whatnot. I was doing, when COVID hit and shit, I didn't want to get all lazy and whatnot. So I started training outside up at the central, up at central track and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And, um, <clears throat> started posting a couple of videos before I knew it. People was asking me to train them and shit. I got certified and then I just went from there. So a lot of the world was shut down. That was my, that was my little bread and butter to just keep me sane and shit because you know, we were everybody. We was in this bitch like sardines, just you know, around each other all day. You ain't lying. Is it a certain look you going for as far as hitting the gym? Like you want to be shredded, ripped, clean? I can honestly say I'm now. I like originally. Okay, so originally I just wanted to be healthy, bro. That was my whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like we as black people need to be more conscious of our of our bodies. You know what I'm saying? Doing fucked up shit to ourselves on the regular, so well, that's one thing I just want to preach about. Like I, we can definitely do better, and I just I feel like I can't ever tell somebody else to do better if I'm not trying myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I like I, I like I don't, I don't I don't eat pork for no no for no for no uh, religious reason, just for health in general. I don't eat pork. I don't drink pop. I started drinking pop years ago. Um, I don't drink. I don't drink. I ain't had a, I I ain't had no liquor in probably like three years. Hey, baby girl. I ain't had no liquor in probably like three years. I ain't had no pop in like maybe like eight, eight or nine years. All I, all I majority drink is water. I drink water. 
um, smoothies and then like protein shakes and shit. You know what I'm saying? And like my literally my majority of things water. I try to get down a gallon a day. Me too. Eat for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? And it's good though, bro. Like I love it. I love it. Like I, I get a euphoric feeling from working out. It's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? You meet some of the most humbling people at the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like I just my man's, I just my uh this dude Ethan just met him at the gym the other day, dude in a wheel in a wheelchair. Still coming to the gym in a fucking wheelchair. Can't walk. That's dedication right there. Dedication, do you hear me? So there ain't no real excuse, you know what I'm saying? And there's no such thing as it's too late to do anything, you know what I'm saying? Get your ass up and apply, and then, you know what I'm saying, there to be what? That's why you look so young. You take care of yourself. When I first saw you, I'm like, damn, he was younger than me. <laughs> For real. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, so who can flinch you want to work with that you haven't already? <coughs> um, I want to work with Louis Ray. Um, just cause I've always I've always been a big fan of him. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the ones I was hoping. You know what I'm saying? Got where he at now. And so when he when he made that trans transition, I had nothing but applause for him. Um. Um. Yeah, I definitely want to work with Louie. You know what I'm saying? Um. Besides the people that I've already named, like you know. Uh, Jeff Sky, Dream and shit, Cameron and whatnot. I definitely want to work with um Tay Boogie. Definitely want to work with King Cash. Back. Um, let me see. Damn, I forgot his name. Drew. I forgot his like singing name, but it's his cat named Drew. I definitely got to rock, rock with bro. He can, man, dude, he's talented as hell. He pulled up at Wave Village. We took hands when he told me, saying, me and um, my boy, um, Chris, like, uh, what you what, what you got? Show us a song or whatever. Pulled up a dope-ass song on YouTube and whatnot. I'm like, all right, we got numbers right there. Um, Somebody I'm, I'm forgetting is pissing me off. My boy, my boy Brody. He's talented. You said what? I said Brody talented. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. When I, 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 I can't wait till Lito get out so we can drop the shit that me and him got. That was going to be my next question. You had Lito in a music video, fuck with you. Bro, that's my bro, man. That's dog, man. Pretty East, man. For real, for real, though. Yeah, but not nah, because he get out, man. We definitely got some shit that we never got to drop and whatnot. I can't wait till he pop out so we can pop the fuck out. Was that music video inspired by Next Party? Hell yeah, yeah. That's yes, the vibe I got. That's Definitely. the exact vibe I got. Because yeah. look, at the time, I had made my mind up like I want my videos to have a concept. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cool with running gun videos and shit too, but I want mine to just tell a story. You know what I'm saying? Like, because eventually when I, I got out one of my, my ideas or whatever, it's like, I'm going to do a whole, my, like my whole collage of videos for a specific tape is going to tell a whole story from start to finish and shit. Yeah. And that's why I want to get into the thing of like, I got this one joint. I got this one song called Big Step Daddy coming soon. Just, just wait till you see what the fuck I do for the visual on that one, bro. Oh my God. Man. Not just, man, just, man, just, man. Ooh. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Man, you, uh, in the video uh, at the bar, y'all both tried to shoot y'all shot at two girls and they ended up being gay, a lesbian. Mm -hmm. You ever, uh, how you feel about people like being bothered by like gay stuff? Because to me personally, it don't bother me. Like, if uh, that's what you want to do with your life, then go ahead and do it. Nah, that's how I feel. That's, that's, that's exactly how I feel, to be honest with you. Um, that's not thank you. Um, so basically, I feel like whatever your preference is, that's your preference. It ain't really none of my business, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you eat don't make me shit. Who you fuck don't make me nut. You know what I'm saying? So it really ain't none of my business. Yeah. And as far as, like, anybody that gets, like, oversensitive about the situation, that's 
That's their business. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's their business. And they be, that's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna call somebody homophobic because personally, I don't know what your issues with the situation roots from. So, like I said, that's somebody else's business. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really be. I I I, I, I to be honest with you, I, I ain't really in the habit of like trying to get another person's mental for that reason. If it's something I disagree with, if you feel a certain way and I disagree with it, that's just your prerogative, and I just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be too bothered by other people's opinions and shit like that. You feel me? So, you know, they got an issue with it. They got an issue with it. If they, this person like it, shit, I love it. As long as y'all, but as long as you're not trying to bother me in the way I'm doing my thing, do your thing, I don't really care. Yeah, I totally agree with you. You uh, had a song called No Trust Now. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it hard having to trust people in, in the industry? Because, like, what you're trying to do with your life, you're going to have to trust people. You're going to have to trust people with your masters, with your files, with your video footage, photographers <laughs> and stuff. Like, I know that got to be difficult because it's like, as a man, we like to, for shit to be in our control. And everything can be like that, especially when you got to get somewhere and you need other people to get there. So, like, it's funny that you bring that song up. I love that song, by the way. Um, um, so, uh, I don't necessarily look at it like that. Yes, you, I wouldn't say you got to trust people when it comes. So, we talking about music industry specifically. I wouldn't say necessarily trust. It's more like this business, you know what I'm saying? So, either you're going to be doing good business or you're going to be doing bad business. You know what I'm saying? And what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's this person, because in reality, you don't know if you can trust this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In reality, you, you go into it with a, with a with a good mind frame, hoping, wishing maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't really hope. I'm more like, I'm not, I'm not a person that hopes for shit. I just, I just apply. You feel me? I just apply. And if it work out, it work out. If it don't, I'm still going to apply. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to apply myself at all times. But um, you go into that situation with a positive mind frame that it's going to work out. You know what I'm saying? That this and this individual is not going to, you know, backstab you. But in reality, you don't know this person to trust them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't had shit to trust them. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that as a situation. It's just more like, you know, you, it's, you can, you came to do business and we, if we, we do good business, we do good business. You keep doing good business. If shit go bad, Hey, learn your fucking lesson. Quit taking else. And that's just how it is. So, from the sound of that, you seem pretty optimistic. In a sense, in a sense, yeah. The way I look at it, the world is already against you, so I be your own worst, worst critic. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah so you know, that's that's really what it is. The the way I look at it is, it's so much fucking money in this shit, man. That if if you once you figure your lane out, you can get. Show bread, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta figure your own lane out. That's that'd be a lot of people issue. Some people wanna ride this lane when they're not even built to ride this lane. They low key lane is over there. And if they did that, they'd make just as much money in this lane. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so much, it's so much money in this shit, man. Motherfuckers just be blind to everybody can't be the number one man. Everybody can't be the number two man. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you need that six man to keep the whole fucking thing going together. You know what I'm saying? People, people don't comprehend that shit. But as long as you find your lane out and you do your thing in your lane, can't shit go wrong for you. It's just a, it's a process. I agree. Now, outside of just music, you got like a normal type of life. So investing in taking, having kids, a relationship, bills, and music, how you budget the money and like how you go about it like that? Because I know people who want to do music, but they literally have no extra um, money to do it. Shit. Like I said, do what makes sense. Do what makes sense. Like, a lot of time, and it's fucked up because in reality, you want to do what you're passionate in. Um, you want to do what you're passionate in and shit, which is fine, damn it. But if what you're passionate ain't, you know what I'm saying, keeping your livelihood good, you know what I'm saying? Do what makes sense until you can, you know, 
afford for your passion to do it. You feel me? So if you dope as hell at being an accountant, you know what I'm saying? Like you dope as hell, with, and, but in reality, you you want to sell t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to sell t-shirts. That's what you like doing. You like pressing t-shirts, the whole shebang. You like doing that. If but you're really fucking good at being an accountant. Run the bag up until it, you can make it make sense and with your passion. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. That's really it. To be honest with you, I'm. I I always I always find a way. You know what I'm saying? Like I I I can't get up and not make some money. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to like budgeting in this way. Um, since I do what I do like we do, you know, silly shit with the kids whenever we fucking please. Yeah. I um I was watching this video with Shaq and he was saying how uh I forgot who he was talking to, but in the video he was the guy told him oh, he was like, What do you do with your money? He was like, Well, I take half of it, I put it away and I use the other half. And he was like, No, nah, you should take three quarters and put it away and then use the, the quarter. Mentally train yourself to be content with this amount so whenever you have you know saying the dip into the rainy day fund or even if you hit a quarter that you were trying to hit before you start spending more and shit you'll get there fast because in reality the only reason the only difference between wants and needs is how bad you want it yeah. you know what i'm saying that's the only difference between the want and the need like you can't live without a fucking need but if you mentally tell yourself well i've earned this enough, you'll buy it, even if you genuinely fucking have it, you know what I'm saying, you'll look at it and be like, I ain't slapped nobody in three days let me go buy myself this type of shit you know what I'm saying, right. and people are really like that, when in reality if you train yourself to be more disciplined in a simple sense of that, that matter, which is what I do you'll be able to save up a lot faster, a lot quicker, and then do a lot more, you know what I'm saying with just a little bit of discipline, you know what I'm saying sacrifice a couple of weeks so you can have a few months of, you know what I'm saying, clarity and just freedom, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be worrying about, oh, where the money for this bill going to come from, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't worried about that in a few years, and I'm blessed by that, you know what I'm saying? I'm blessed for that that feeling. I remember a time where, shit, I lived a life where, you know, past due the statements was coming through, you feel me? I knew what that was like, and... As long as it's air in my body, my kids will never know what that shit is like. You feel me? And, you know, that's a, that's a blessing. And I do it. I'm able to do it now because I'm more disciplined with the way that I spend. Yeah, I want this. I want that. I want that. But I want my shit to stay consistent on this area. You feel me? And I, I want that way more than I want this. You feel me? <laughs> like, right. like, I was sitting up like, damn. So I got this thing where I like to pay my bills. I had like two, three months or whatever, right? So I was like, I really want to buy a Rolex. I really want to buy a Rolex. <laughs> I just kept saying to myself, like, ah, nope, 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 nope. I got to stick to my plan. I already told myself I'm going to do this. So I, I paid my bills up like three months and shit. Everything was cool. And then I was like, you know what? Lock down. And then next year, you can do both, nigga. <laughs> I was right. like, you right. You fucking right. And then, you know, you like I said, you just apply. You just apply. That's pretty much how I do, though. You know what I'm saying? I put, like, three quarters up, and then I work on that quarter or whatever, and I make it make make it make sense, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be, like, accepting defeat for what reason. That's that's perfect budgeting. A lot of people should hear this and take that into consideration because a lot of people just say, fuck their dream just because they don't know how to budget. Right. And look, I'm not perfect. I'm not telling anybody no motherfucking quick, no uh, get rich quick streams because shit, because I still ain't rich yet. So if it don't work for you, I'm not saying do it. I'm just saying, like, have some type of structure when it comes down to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a goal for what you're trying to save, honestly, put put towards some small shit that works towards your big shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that'd be the mental fuck up where a lot of people would be like, oh, I need to save 5000 by this time or whatever. And that's all they're thinking about is getting to the 5000 getting to the 5000 When in reality, you should be like, all right, I saved $50 today. All right, I saved 85 today. You know what I'm saying? And boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? And then before you know it, that shit get where you need it to be. And you'd be like, all right, cool. You got to appreciate the small steps big as much as you do the big one. Yeah, I totally agree with you. You uh, you had a song called Work. 
I feel like you should shoot the video because that's just like, oh, like, I, I know it's old. Hell no. If I'm not mistaken, that song old, ain't it? Yeah. That should have had a video, bro. Like, I can hear the clubs playing. <laughs> there must be like some funny story behind it or something. Nah, nah. It's just the fact that you did some research. That's great. It's, yeah, I really went. I started from the bottom of your catalog all the way to the top. I can hear the evolution too. I can hear like the evolved sound. Like, appreciate it. Appreciate you, it. To me, I feel like you got more lyrical as the time goes by. Yeah. But I really like that song. I feel like if you would have had a video that could have probably did some shit. Man, I do too, bro. It's, it's a long ass story about that. When we meet, when we uh kicking in person, I'm gonna tell you about that. Just remember, remind me so we can talk about that one. Well, it definitely was supposed to have been a lot more to that whole time when I first when I that's when I first first was coming out and shit. That was funny. <laughs> I'm surprised you still keep old shit up. I got a couple homeboys who they've been rapping since like for like eight years and they delete the, the shit from eight, seven years ago and all you can see is probably like 2020 and up, 2019 and up. See, nope, I never do it only because like like how you said, you know, you peep the evolution and shit, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that because I have been working on the crap. You feel yeah. me? Like that um, amongst all the other shit that I went through, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is still a fucking part of me. And then on top of that, you never know what song of yours is going to be the one that blows up for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? Agree. Like, it'd be, it would be a good idea to fucking delete an old song. Would a, a certain person hear it, make a TikTok out of it, and then it blow up. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, that's how this shit's been happening every other fucking day now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I wouldn't delete any content unless it's like you know unless it's some something that can probably be like devastating but I ain't did nothing crazy. I don't know. So like if you like like if you somebody that you know you got a video and you like setting some cats on fire or something crazy shit like that you might want to try to you know get as far away as from that as possible. You know what I'm saying? But you know that's and you live your life how you please, as long as you're affected, as long as you're affected, mine. That's all I care about. The girl in the photo two video, you picked her too. Yeah, yeah. How you stumble yeah. across her, Lola? How you stumble across her? Um, we were just friends on Facebook. To be honest with you, I don't know how, but we was friends on Facebook or whatever. Yeah. And um. No, I just hit her up. I'm like, hey, how you doing? I, um, I'm on Kane. I shoot. I, I make music, whatever. I'm trying to book you for a video shoot. I'm, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I really, how you trying to do this? Blah, blah, blah. And she like, okay, cool. Uh, just let me know the time frame, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, right, but. And then, you know, when she got there. It was funny because, like I said, like all my videos is more than just, you know what I'm saying? All right, come on, everybody. This Bob says beat, boom, boom type shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm telling her, like, nah. We're going to do a whole next Friday thing. <laughs> she like, okay. I'm like, yeah, so, you know, the girl, uh, Carla and shit, like, you going to play her, play her character and shit. And she like, all right. And I, I, when I man, it's, she, it was so funny. I'm like, then I got my boy Lito. He going to play Baby Joker. Man, it was just, it was just dope. It was just dope. That was a good day. That was a real good day. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram. She's spicy. Sure. Yeah. When I saw the video, I'm like, okay, that's how he playing it. Yeah, Smart she the man. one that uh, well, she she had uh, she had blew up because she what was that was that Rolling Loud when she the one that uh, Pat Man ate that that donut off her booty at, at Rolling Loud or whatever. I think the one in Miami. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, last year. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, she blew the fuck up. I was like, you deserve it. Good job. <laughs> right. Who made the On God beat? Or was that like some shit you found on YouTube? Damn. That, if you ever did a remix to that, I feel like you should put E-40 on there. To me, that I beat could, just screamed E-40. If I could afford the feet, I definitely would. Like, when I heard it, I'm like, he had that type in E-40 type beats. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, that, it just screamed E-40 to me, man. But you answered all my questions. You got anything you want to say before we tap out the interview? Uh -huh. Shit, man. 
every day is a better every day is a new day to be better than he was yesterday. It's good to be good, but every once in a while I'll take a chance out there and it'd be great. Oh, I, it's the great, ain't it? I forgot to bring that up. You should trademark that. Yeah, it's in the works. It's in the works. It's in the works. I actually ran into a, a hiccup, but it's in the works. I'm I'm working it out. Working. When you said that in the uh in the uh no guidance freestyle, I was like, bro, if he don't mark you, if he don't <laughs> trademark and make shirts, I will buy one of every color, bro. That should be a part of your merch. I didn't Look, know you have merch. Merch. That's a crazy thing. Yeah, I just ain't um did nothing with it in a minute. To be honest with you. Before COVID, I had merch at every one of my shows. Uh, shirts, fucking joggers and shit. Every one of my shows and whatnot. And it was like, because I fuck with dogs or whatever. So it's pretty much just like, I came the great name or whatever with the, like this pit bull intertwined in the middle of it or whatever. But I'm going to definitely get like an updated logo. Yeah. Um, push, push for it that way. But it is definitely coming back full surface, to tell you the truth. Hey, I'm definitely, you're going to have to get some of the juice and I'll rock in my video and, and tell motherfuckers, like, listen, it's that can of great shit, man. I got you, my nigga. I got you, dude. Right now. I got you. I got you. Right, but. Yeah, man. But this was a great interview, man. You was very honest with me. I honestly didn't expect you to answer everything, but you really did. You kept a thousand. I really fuck with you for that. <laughs> Likewise, bro. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. You're a good at this shit, man. Man, I appreciate that. When you drop an album, we can double back for another interview or if you drop a tape or whatever and I can listen to the project and I can get some questions to draw from that. I got you. I got you. I got you. will be the first one to know when it's coming up. All right. Is there any day you want me to drop this? Like, any uh, specific day? Yeah, as soon as possible. Let me know when, is it, when you're ready to. I can drop it tomorrow for you. All right, babe. All right. Send me like a little link. with a, Not a link. Send me like a little um, I just do a screenshot right now. So I can make a post about it. Uh, All right. Appreciate you. All right. I'm going to start promoting tonight. Bet it up. All right. Bet. Yep, yep.